Let me show you how to create professional looking presentations easily and quickly with Canva. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create presentations with the AI in Canva, how to use templates effectively, how to customize your presentation deck, how to present and share it with Canva, and how to transform your presentation into a flipbook with a Canva app called Issue, which by the way is sponsoring this video. With Issues app on Canva, you can take your presentations to the next level. By exporting your Canva presentation to Issue, you can instantly generate a digital flipbook with stunning visuals, interactive elements, and page flipping animations. You can create, publish, and share your presentation, whether it is a pitch deck, a sales presentation, or a training module. This powerful mix of Canva and Issue allows you to add stunning images, important links, and high definition videos that can be set to autoplay as the pages turn. Don't forget graphs and flowcharts, essential additions to any well-rounded, compelling presentation. Another benefit of sharing your presentations via issue is that they will be optimized for any device, meaning that they will look good on desktop, iPad, or mobile. And when it is time to present, issue's full screen sharing feature provides a distraction-free viewing experience, ensuring your content shines and your audience is truly engaged. You can also easily embed presentations on a web page, connecting seamlessly with existing content and continuously monitor metrics like reads and read time with built-in statics. You can elevate your storytelling with issues presentation solution and leave a lasting impact on audiences. Get started with issue today for free or you can use the link in the description to sign up for an annual premium account and get a 30% off. Make sure to use the promo code RONDI30 and this promo is only available for annual plans. I'm going to show you two different ways to create a new presentation document in Canva. The first one is using the AI in Canva and this one is in case that you need help with the content, the written content and the images inside the presentation. And the second one is by using templates. I would suggest you use this one in case that you already have the content you want to place on your presentation. We're going to start with the first one, which is using the AI in Canva. And this feature is called Magic Design. This one, it's pretty, pretty simple to use. You are just going to describe in this search bar what you want your presentation to be about. So I'm going to use the following prompt, which is presentation. You need to write the document type. In this case, it is a presentation and the presentation is about about explaining how to create presentations. You're going to write your prompt in here and then hit enter. This magic design feature is only available for English locales, so if you are using Canva in a different language, you might not be able to use it. After entering your prompt and hitting enter, it is going to take just a couple of seconds for your presentations to be ready. I have the presentations in here, and as you can see, all of them have different styles, different color combinations, and also different fonts. What I really, really like about about this magic design feature is that Canva is not only providing the written content in your presentation but also images related to the topic. So let's take a look at the titles in here. Remember that these presentations are about creating presentations. So in here we see presentation creation 101, presentation mastery made easy, same title, create amazing presentations, and if you wanted to see what is inside each of these decks, you can click on the one that you like and then preview the other pages from here. As you can see, all of the pages are related to presentation and the images as well. We see somebody speaking in front of an audience. We also see here a lady speaking and some other images related to the topic. If you were to create a presentation about beauty, you will have everything related to beauty or if you were to create a presentation related to education you will have the content related to the topic 
And there is something important to mention in here because if you are using a Canva free account, you will have some limitations. You will only have 10 credits over a lifetime to use this feature. And if you are using a Canva Pro or a Canva for Teams account, you will have a total of 100 uses per day. Now, coming back here to the presentations, you are going to view all of the options created by Canva. You're gonna check all of the pages. And if you want to use one of these templates, you are simply going to click on the one that you like and then click customize this template. This is going to take you directly to the editor where you'll be able to customize it. I am back to the Canva homepage because I want to show you how to find the perfect template for your presentation. The first thing that you are going to do is to click on the presentations icon and from here you can scroll down to see different categories that Canva has in here. So I can see that they have several different styles of presentations in here. You can click on this arrow to view more options or you can click see all. You also have brainstorm and game presentations so there is a lot to discover and a lot of presentations to have fun with but I want to show you how you can find even more presentation templates. You're going up and on any of these presentation formats and by hovering on this section you will see a magnifying icon. You're going to click here. This is going to take you to the presentation templates page, which contains over 20,000 templates. So basically you can scroll down and I'm sure that you are going to find the perfect presentation template for you. There is another way to search for the perfect template and it is by using the search bar. So you can search for presentation and then you can add a keyword by team. So for example, you can type presentation and then you want to create a presentation related to beauty hit enter and then you are going to find a bunch of different presentations related to beauty you can also try let's say you want to create a presentation for a business and you can see that we have completely different styles in here let's say that you want to create a presentation for a school related topic as you can see the templates in canva are very very diverse and they have so many different topics there is another way that you can also try to find the perfect template and it is by adding a keyword related to a style so instead of using a theme i'm going Going to find a presentation with a minimal style so you can add minimal or minimalist and as you can see our search result is now filtered by templates with this minimal style you can also try let's say elegance or try organic why not again a feminine style or corporate in this search results page you will always find a mix of free and pro templates. The pro ones will have this pro label with a crown and the ones that are completely free, they don't have any label. So if you like any of these templates, you are going to click on the template. You will see here all the different slides. You can view them before actually creating a document. And if you like what you see, you can create a new document by clicking on customize this template. Now, you are in the editor and how do you customize this template to make the message your own? I'm going to continue using this design created by the AI. It doesn't matter if you created a new design using a template or a template generated by the AI. Once you are inside the editor, you will see this window open on the left. Let's take this slide as an example. Let's say that you like the title, create stunning presentations, but you don't quite like this second line in here. So it says master the art form. I want to change it for my name because we're going to have different speakers in the same session. So it will be nice for people to know my name. You are just going to double click on the text box and this is going to give you access to the text inside the box. And then you simply need to type your message in here. 
Now, how do we change the colors? Let's say that I want to change the color in the background. I'm going to click on the background and this is going to give me access to this icon that says background color. I'm going to click here and I can change the color from here. So you can scroll down, you will see some photo colors. These are color palettes from the images inside the presentation and these color palettes are automatically generated by Canva. These are extremely, extremely useful. So let's try one of these. I'm gonna try this color here, might be too light because my text is white. So we can try different options here. And once you find the color that you like, you can actually change the same color on all of the following pages for this new color. So let me do it with this terracotta color so it is more obvious, the change is more obvious. So I'm changing this black to this color. I'm going to click on this button that says change all and pay attention to what happens to the following pages in here. I'm clicking and all the colors have been changed across all of the pages. Now let's say that you want to add an extra text box because you want to add more information to your slide. You're going to simply tap the T key on your keyboard to add a new text box. You see it here or let me show you a different way. You can click on the text icon on the left hand side and from here you're going to click add a text box. Now you have a new text box in here. In the text section there is something that I like to call the text templates or font templates because you have different font combinations and they will also have some text effects. So for example here you have this glow effect and you can customize it as well. So you can type anything that you want and you will have exactly the same effect. To delete any element on your design, you are simply going to select it and hit the trash icon. If you want to change anything about your text box, could be the font, the font size, color, or so on. You're going to select your text box and you will see that this white toolbar now has all the options or all the tools that you need to customize your text. So let's go to the font and change it. Pay attention to the box that is selected. I'm going to change the font. Let's do it one more time so you can see that I'm using different fonts. You can also increase or reduce the size, change the color from here and use the other options if you need them. And what about if you want to add elements to your presentation? You're going to go to the left menu and click on elements. From here you have different categories or different sections. There is the shapes section, graphics, you also have the AI image generator, you can add tables, photos, videos, audio, charts, stickers, and these are animated illustrations, you can work with frames and so on. So let me try going to the graphics section see all and from here you can type anything that you want so my slide here is talking about presentations so I'm gonna type presentation and see what do we find in here we have some cool illustrations and icons so I could add any of them by clicking or dragging it into my design so let's add this one here with just one click you can change the color as well let me make it white. You can position it, whatever you want on your slide. You can make it big or small. You can also rotate it. And what I like about Canva is, as I already showed you, is that they have stickers. So when you go to see all, you have all of these animated elements. And let me go to arrows. These are pretty fun to use when you are presenting, but just try not to add too much movement because if you are presenting you want people to pay attention to you and not to the animated elements on the screen. Now let me go back because there is something that it's pretty useful when you are creating presentations. We're going down to the charts section. We're going to click here where it says see all and you can see that we can add bar charts, line and dot charts, interactive charts, pie charts, infographics, 
and other charts. These are pretty, pretty cool to use in Canva. Let me show you by going to page three. We have already one chart in here. And when you click on the chart, you can actually change all the information in here. You can actually span the data table from here and add your data or change it from here. So I'm just doing some changes. Let's say that we are talking about presenter one instead of item one presenter two and then we're going to delete this and this one here and now let me go back to view the chart updated so we have less information now and when you select your chart you can actually edit it from here so we are using a bar chart but we can use a different style from here we can change it to a line chart or even a pie chart or donut if you want to use a different chart that is not the one presented in the original template let me delete this one and show you that you can use any of the ones available here on the elements section so let's say that we want to add this one you just add it by clicking on the chart and then you'll be able to adjust the data with this button that says expand data table i really love these charts because they are actually pretty interactive let me show you for example this one here and and let me change the colors so we can see it better let me go to edit and at the moment we have people but we can change this icon for a hand or let's say a star or a plane and then you can change the items how you want to fill them and the spacing now let me go back to page number one because the library in canva it's quite extensive and we can find actually almost any image that you need but sometimes we want to customize them and use our own photos so how do you upload your own resources to canva you're gonna go to uploads and from here you're simply going to click on the upload files button this is going to give you access to the files on your computer Computer, and then you're going to select the ones that you want to upload click open and then you have your image ready to be used on your presentation I want to add it to this space so I'm going to replace this photo by mine I'm going to drag the image and now I have it on my slide if you want to change frame because you don't like the shape of this frame you're going to elements let me go back and then you're going to scroll down until you see the section called frames I'm going to click see all and from here you can add any kind of frame that you see in here so let's try a device i think this is going to be a fun touch and let me delete this one in the back delete frame going to uploads and then you just simply are going to drag your photo inside the frame another cool way to use photos in presentations is by removing its background so let me delete this frame here bringing my photo to the slide and then if you have a canva pro account you can go to edit photo and use the bg remover or background remover with just one click and a couple of seconds canva is going to remove the background of this photo and then you can simply place your photo wherever you want something very important about presentations is that you have different slides and you can view them on this lower section if you don't see them like this it's because this feature is not activated so let me hide this one and you will see all of your slides like this but if you want to see all of the pages below simply click on this tiny arrow pointing up then if you want to reorganize these slides you can simply drag them and place the pages wherever you want them to go if you want to delete any of these pages you can do it by clicking on these three dots and then delete page and then if you want to add a new page you are simply going to click on this icon that says add page and now let's say that you need to stop working on your presentation deck but you want to continue working on tomorrow so how are you going to find this presentation document later on you're going to open canva.com once again you're going to log in into your account and then if you click on this icon that says for you you are going to find your recent designs in here and this one is the presentation that i was working on so if you want to continue working on it you are simply going to click here and this is going to take you back to the editor 
Once your presentation is done, I guess you are ready to present or share it with other people. So how do you do that? When you are inside your presentation document, you will see that on top of the screen there is a button called present. You're going to click here. From here you have four different options. You have the present full screen, presenter view, present and record and autoplay. The present full screen option is actually the one that I use the most and you can find it from here by clicking on present and then present full screen or you can also find it at the bottom of the screen. So you can access this option whenever you are designing. You can click here and then you are ready to present. Now let me go back to present to show you the presenter view option. This one is pretty pretty useful if you have access to two different screens when you are presenting. So let me click present and as you can see I have now two different windows. One that is the presenter window and one that is the audience window. This one is what people will see. Let me move it to the side and then this window is just for you. You're gonna close this little pop-up window and then as you move from slide to slide you can actually see the notes that that you have written previously. So let me go back to the presentation and show you because every time that you are on a page you will see a notes button. So let me click here and you can add notes. So for example here I want to present myself. Let's also present the business. And that's it. Maybe on the second one I want to do some storytelling so I'm adding this keyword here so I can remind myself and then you can add here for example some important information like data so you don't forget and then when you go to presenter view let me move this window to the side and when you are on page number one you can see your notes so present myself present business. Remember that people cannot see this window, this is just for you. Then you move to the second slide, you're going to talk about whatever it is on this slide and then you do your little storytelling and so on. So yeah, basically these notes are here to support you and to remind you of things that you don't want to forget. Now coming back here, let me show you this option that says present and record. This one is pretty pretty useful because as you can see you can record yourself talking and also showing the presentation at the same time. I'm gonna click next, go to recording studio. You can actually record yourself in a bubble so you can select a camera to film yourself or you can also select no camera and only record your voice. So you're gonna click on start recording and then you'll see a three, two, one and you're gonna start recording either your voice or yourself in this little bubble and then you can download this presentation as a video or you can share it with anyone else. And lastly we have the autoplay which is going to move from slide to slide automatically. And now how do you share this presentation? with others. Sometimes it's really nice to share your slide deck at the end of a presentation with your audience or sometimes you want to share this presentation to collaborate with others. So you want to build the slide deck with a colleague or with a friend of yours. So this is how you do it. You're going to click on this share button on top of the screen and then from here you can create a collaboration link. So you can deploy this menu and then from here you can see that you can create a link so only you can access, only the people on your team or anyone with the link can access the design. Once you have selected one of these three options, you can give them access to only view, comment or edit. If you only want to share a link so others can view it, you can click on this option that says public view link. Or you can also download your presentation and you also have different file types. You have PDF, PPT, MP4, JPEG, PNG. If you have a Canva Pro account you can even download it as an SVG and you can also download it as GIF. Let's say that you actually want to download this presentation as a video. So you're going to select it here and then click download. 
And last but not the less important, I want to show you how you can transform your presentation into an ebook. For this, we are going to use a Canva app. So we're going to go to apps and from here you are going to type issue hit enter and this is the app you're going to use you're going to click here to open the app you're going to click connect which is going to connect the app with your issue account so if you don't have one you're going to create one we already have an issue account so i'm just going to connect you're going to see this second window that if you want to use issue with canva you need to click accept once issue has connected your account you are going to see this click on export draft to issue then you're going to select the pages that you want to see on this flipbook so i'm going to select them all and then click export now this presentation has been converted into a draft flipbook inside issue so that's why we see this label that says unpublished and we see this draft link so if you believe your presentation is ready to be published you just need to click on this button that says publish on issue we're gonna give a name to this flipbook so create presentations by diana you're going to leave it public if you want your flipbook to be public and then confirm and publish and that's it you have transformed your presentation into a flipbook so let me show you our issue profile and the presentation is already available in here as a flipbook format so let me click on it so you can see it let me flip the page and also let me show you the full screen option let me go back to the beginning let's go full screen and let's pay attention to this flip effect that looks very very professional if you want to learn more about issue i'm gonna leave a video in here in which i go more into detail I'm going to leave a link so you can join our membership and I'm also leaving a video explaining what is our membership about, where we have perks and also exclusive educational content. I think that's it for today's video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!